What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at some lavalier mic. Now this set comes from a company called Ceremonic. So I've actually had this for a little while and I did make a video of it a long time ago and I did not like the way it came out so I just never used it but I've used these ever since. Anytime I'm out of the studio or in another room where it's real echoey and it doesn't have like sound foam, I use this because it, they're great. The reason I chose these is because the capabilities, the quality and the price. Lavalier mics, if you get a Set, a lot of times they're pretty expensive. These are on the more budget side. They're like the fine line in between budget and good quality. So this set right here is about 270. And then recently, since I'm gonna be doing some really cool projects coming up, I'm gonna need a second lavalier mic for guests. I went ahead and picked up a secondary unit. Now, for those who don't know, lavalier mics, they're really, really good for uh, a lot of things, not just um, making videos, but also interviewing and stuff like that. They connect really easily on a D DSLR and you can use them a lot of other ways, um, but that's how I use it. There we go. So this is the unit that you put on your belt clip or in your pocket or something like that, along with a microphone, which I bought. Um, I bought some cattails for it, but it's a super easy interface. They're made out of metal, so they're very heavy duty. So far, they've been absolutely great. Battery compartment right here takes two AA batteries. You can put rechargeable ones in there. You plug your microphone in at the top here. Take this off, there we go. It's a little shaped funny now because I've, I've had it in that uh, cattail for so long, but uh, has a little clip. You basically clip it anywhere. You can actually clip it under your shirt. If you have a cattail, then it works pretty good because then you don't pick up as much like uh, sound like rubbing and everything. These are 514 megahertz to 596 megahertz. They have uh, up to 96 selectable channels in two different groups. So there's a lot of options here. You can have multiples of these, but very, very simple interface to use. I'm not gonna go over all of it. This is not a tutorial. Right now they're on the same channel. Can we get a little light here? There we go. See the A? Test, test. Another reason why I got these ones specifically is they have a pretty good distance for their price range. These go up to about 330 feet. Now they're estimating 330 feet in an open area with no obstacles. If it's an area with obstacles, you're still gonna get about 200 feet, which is pretty good. So far, I've used this for um, you know a while now, probably over a year and it, it's, n shh. There was no real learning curve with this. The instructions are very straightforward, very simple. There's a few other things here. This is for plugging it directly into, say, your DSLR. And then this is the mount that you would use for uh, mounting it on the top of a DSLR. Um, and I'll show you right now, let me take this off. So the base unit, real simple, you take this, slide that in there like that. And then what I like to do is face it forward. And then you tighten this down right here. Now it's mounted on there, nice and steady. So then microphone, you would plug it in like so. So now you've got a full receiver for your DSLR. I, I can't emphasize enough how great this thing is. It's super simple. So the new one, I haven't even opened it yet. There we go. So this one should be identical. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's identical to the other one. I'm actually doing a few projects with a buddy of mine and um, some really fun ones too. So we're gonna actually go in um, during another shoot that I'm gonna be doing over at his place. We're gonna also go test this out. So let's let's go do this. Okay, so we're here at Extreme. Uh, we're here for another video and uh, I'll show you why later on. So stick around. For now, we're testing out the microphone. So I got my buddy Shannon here to help me out. Uh, he's got the other one on. Check, check. Check, check, one, two. So we got both of these hooked up to the same receiver uh, so we can both talk at the same time. But we're gonna do a distance check. Uh, so let's do that. Let's do that. You can be the cameraman. All right. All right, let's go. Test, test, mic check, one, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. It's starting to rain. I'm like, what, 300 feet? You can still hear me? Dang, all right, I'm going. I'm going out in the field. Hope I don't walk in any fire ants. Oh man, I'm gonna get killed by a snake or something. Hey, a golf, found a golf ball. You still hear me? You can still hear me. Oh my God. Okay, well, I would say I'm what, 500 feet or so? About 500 feet. It's supposed to go 300 feet, so I'm walking back because I'm getting rained on. I'm coming back. 
All right, well, there we go. I went like, I don't know, what'd you say, 500 feet? At least. At least like 500 feet or so. But overall, these things are actually pretty good. I've been using it for, I don't know, maybe a year and a half. In every video that I do that's outside of my studio, I'm usually using one of these. I'm glad I got a second unit because now I can have somebody else in the video. So if you're looking for a lavalier mic that's not gonna completely break your, your pockets, uh, this is actually a really good way to go. It's made out of heavy material. They work really, really well. So even with two connected, they have a really good stable connection. Definitely go check it out. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below as usual. I leave it in your guys' hands. Go check it out for yourself. But as for now, get out of here.